Today was the cross-party group on rural growth's third inquiry session, and we focused on tourism and the benefits of tourism to Wales's rural uh, economy. We took evidence from UK hospitality, from the Wales Tourism Alliance, from the business zip world, which is incredibly popular, and heard about what is really important to the tourism sector in Wales and what we can do through our CPG inquiry to put that case to Welsh Government. So one of the key themes throughout the inquiry today was the Welsh Government's introduction of a tourism tax, a tourism levy. Uh, it's changes to 182 night uh, regulations for self-catering holiday units. Uh, and one thing that was picked up that I wasn't aware of was the impact that the changes to school holidays could have on the tourism sector in Wales. So there's a lot of themes from what Welsh Government are doing all in a short space of time and the accumulative impact that they can have or are having on the tourism sector here in Wales. So having just concluded the third inquiry session, it's, the, it's clear that there's some recurring themes throughout all our inquiry sessions, and that one being planning and the impact that planning or negative planning is having on, on trying to grow businesses and stimulate the economy in rural Wales and, and skills. I think that's a really important uh, theme that's uh, reoccurred throughout all of our inquiry sessions so far, be that in the hospitality sector, be that in trying to grow a business in, in IT in rural Wales, for example, having those key skills is proving difficult for businesses to grow. Um, but the final and the biggest um, inquiry will be at the Royal Welsh Show, where we'll be looking at food and the production of food and its uh, supply chain. And this is the accumulation of four really good inquiries into the rural pro productivity here in Wales. And hopefully by the end of this year, around November time, we can give as a CPG to Welsh Government policy recommendations so that they can hopefully implement them and boost Wales's rural economy.